So how do they truly feel about you right now? We have the Five of Cups. The Ten of Cups. The Eight of Swords. And the Three of Swords. So there's either some sort of loss here or a fear of loss, okay? For some of you, um, they're wanting a reconciliation or they're just really, really fearful of the worst case scenarios, tower moments, and this is their mental prison. For others of you, it's this mental prison, this self-doubt, them not being able to see clearly in the past that led to some sort of separation and ending. Um, but, you know, they're holding on to deeper levels of union or reconciliation with that two of cups still standing upright that's the happy partnership the divine connection the harmonious connection their biggest dream it just says one in heaven is to have it all with you this is that complete union bliss so much happiness um feeling so close so intimate feel they feel like they can be they feel whole with you, okay? But there's some sort of mental prison. So again, definitely thinking worst case scenarios. For some of you, that could have left, led to a separation. And then thinking worst case scenarios, and it, it made them so they didn't take any kind of action. It was paralyzing them, their fears. Or... Um, even if that isn't quite the case, there's still fears of worst case scenarios, fears of um, you rejecting them or it not working out, fears of heartbreak. And this can cause them to be somewhat um, withdrawn or have their walls up. How do they truly feel though? Queen of Cups, they want you to remain open to them. They, because normally this... Um, Queen of Cups has a lid on the cup, so some sort of walls on your heart. Maybe for some of you, you have sort of pulled back and you're re-evaluating. For others of you, um, you could ha think worst case scenarios as well at times. And this is creating a mental prison for you and it's creating walls around your heart. And I feel like there's a powerful telepathic bond between you both, so... Um, you both sense when each other's in fears and um, feeling separated because it's like you're both in your individual overactive minds. But when you're in the heart space, that's when you feel this Ten of Cups. You feel this closeness, balance, harmony. So we have the Ace of Swords. How else do they truly feel? Wow, yeah. You're coming back to your heart space, or this person is okay. They've been in thinking worst case scenarios. This has paralyzed them, made them go into hermit mode quite a lot. But this is a breakthrough. This is clarity coming in. This is clear communication. Again, for some of you, they may want this reassurance from you, you to come forward and um, they may need a lot of that reassurance. I'm not necessarily saying that everyone should go and do that because it will be different for everyone and you must follow your own intuition when it comes to your own individual connection. But this is your hearts. Like I was saying, coming back to the heart space, this is your hearts really, really connecting. And um, the flow being blissful between you both. Um, this is the divine, your soul family, helping you to come back into balance and harmony together as well. Look at the bottom of the deck. We have the King of Cups. So the King and the Queen here. Um, divine counterparts. Mirrored energy in some cases. Both thinking worst case scenarios. And this really, that energy of thinking worst case scenarios, it's really fed into the connection because you're always connected with each other so um similarly if you are in the heart space the love the joy and um full of faith then that is what the energy that circulates between you both as well 
So how else are they truly feeling about you? Let's look at some messages cards next. So we have two immediately coming up. Yeah, I'm very triggered right now. Yeah, we started off with them looking at three cups that are spilled over. Triggered. Fears in the mind. Yeah, look, I'm so anxious right now. Wow. Come back to the heart space. This is what is going to happen. Look, King and Queen of Cups, the heart space. It may need for you to go, go back to your heart space and um, input this energy into your bond. And then, you know, whatever energy you are in, the other is in. You show up for each other in whatever um, energy you are in. What else do they really need you to know right now? What's really going on here? I feel completely loved. So this is what your person's stressing about, okay? Fears of loss, fears that you're falling out of love with them, fears that you don't love them as much as they love you. They want to be completely loved. They, they want to feel that reassurance. This is what you're shifting into, okay? Back into that harmony, that closeness, that deepening of your union. Yeah, look, everything is deepening between us, just as I say that. And then we have, I am taking the next step. So some sort of clear communication coming in. This could also be you being reassured by this person coming in. I feel like it goes um, both ways for many people. Yeah, look, these are the fears. Are you falling out of love with me? You're both having these fears, okay? Tears in my eyes. So feeling very upset, sad at the thought of that and you are my truth they feel like they can be their most authentic self with you they they know this is true love so let's get some other cards their true feelings right now destined love yeah they feel like you are meant to be together they know the universe brought you together it's the angel that's pouring the, the water or the love between the cups or your hearts. Respected. This is something that's really key in your connection. They feel really, really respected by you. Or in some cases, they need to feel that way in order to open their heart. But for many of you, they really already feel so respected because you have this true unconditional love for this person and this is what opens their heart for them to be able to have these deep romantic feelings this deep holy spiritual you feel the same way about each other okay king and queen of cups those are both of the cups and then you have the temperance the energy is pouring back and forth you feel the same way, deep romantic feelings. And they're absolutely, in, absolutely intoxicated by you and this connection. It's so incredible. It's so otherworldly. Let's get some messages from spirit. What is really going on? What do you really need to know right now? What is the truth? You are these light workers. This is an explosion of light and high vibration coming into your connection as well. You're here to uplift the planet to new earth. You are these volunteers, high vibration, love, peace, empathy, wisdom, sensitive, your pioneers, and you are these healers. What else is really going on in your connection? A powerful soul contract, a double mission. Yeah, this is... Very powerful clarification for some of you. You met in order to be these light workers to really activate this soul agreement, this double mission very powerfully. Right now you are releasing a lot of karma. You've shared many past lives together. Again, it says light workers. You remember each other's soul. This is where all the familiarity is from. It's profound. And again, it says fate. Um, fate brought you together. Piercing eyes, seeing into each other's souls, reading each other's energies, a deep psychic telepathic bond. 
Um, sometimes you could both feel uncomfortable with how intense this eye contact is. Um, but look, they are showing you their love for you through their eyes, okay? They are communicating through the eyes, but also the third eye in those moments, the telepathy, how much they love you. Tears in my eyes. So something significant about the eyes. A lot of communication. What else is really going on? Confidence. So this is moving into that confidence in order to take action, to express truth, to open the heart, to overcome these fears. Self-love, self-worth, feeling deeply loved. And we had, um, I feel completely loved. Success, self-belief, courage. They feel supported by you, unstoppable and secure. This is what is moving your connection forward either now or very, very soon. So I really hope this has resonated with you. If it has, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Bye.